This is Dr. Daniel Paul, orthopedic surgeon with Easy Orthopedics, and today we're going to talk about when does a broken collarbone need surgery. If you like this video, we put out new content weekly, so please like and subscribe. So when does a broken collarbone need surgery? I'm going to call it a clavicle. That's the common thing that we call it. A lot of people call it a collarbone. So you may have fallen on your shoulder or may have broken your collarbone or you know someone has broken your, their collarbone. The question is when does it need surgery? So there's a lot of nuances to this, but this is kind of the general. So when you break the collarbone, you can break it kind of like in the inside of the chest all the way out to the outside or in the middle. Most people tend to break it in the middle. The collarbone or the clavicle is an S-shaped bone and um, it can break uh, right where kind of that S curve uh, makes a turn and that's normally where somebody breaks it. Most of the fractures are there. We call it a mid-shaft clavicle fracture. So if you do that, Sometimes they heal fine on their own, sometimes they don't. So when do they not heal fine on their own or when would you need surgery? So if this is our clavicle bone, let's say this is the fracture. If it's broken and it doesn't really move too much, you don't really need surgery. But if it does move or it displaces and it gets shortened by about two centimeters, meaning that this tip is, is uh, two centimeters away from this tip, that's usually an indication to do surgery, meaning that it's displaced, the bone might not grow and bridge back over, and that's a decent indication to do surgery. Um, the other types are like, let's say if it's one piece pops all the way up here and it's tenting your skin, that's an indication to do surgery. If you've got any sort of neurovascular issues like numbness, tingling, or any sort of like, ves like blood vessel issue, that's a good indication to do surgery. Um, sometimes if someone has multiple traumas and a bunch of different limbs, they'll do surgery so that they can use it earlier. Like let's say if you break your legs at the same time. Um, but general rule of thumb is, is that if you break it and it displaces a lot, that's generally when it needs surgery. If you break it and it does one of these or you know maybe one of these, then sometimes you can get away with not doing surgery. This is, again, for the mid-shaft clavicle fracture. Um, there's definitely operative and non-operative varieties of the end of the clavicle, right where your shoulder is, or the, the, mid, the, 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 the proximal clavicle right in the center of your chest. But I'm talking mostly about mid-shaft here. There are some nuances. So... What you worry about when the clavicle doesn't get fixed is it not healing, meaning that the bones never quite grow together. So the risks of that are obviously displacement, which we talked about. But there's some other risks too. If you're older or you're female or you smoke, then the risks of it not healing are much higher. So in a younger male who doesn't smoke and it's a little displaced, they might heal that fracture, while in an older female who does smoke, same fracture pattern, they might not. So that's sort of relative indications. There's also a type of fracture called a Z deformity where not only does it break like this, but there's also a piece in the middle which kind of makes the letter Z. That's usually a good indication. So if you're an older female who smokes and you have a fracture with a Z deformity, it's probably much mostly always gonna get operated on. Um, the advantages of being operated on when you do have a clavicle fracture is you heal faster. Um, like I said, you have less risk of it not healing. But with any surgery, you have, you have risks with clavicle fractures. There's some nerves that run over the top of the clavicle, and a lot of times those get injured during the surgery, and you have a little numbness on the top of your chest. Um, you know, there's also the risk of infection or anything else that comes with surgery. But to sum it up, when do you need surgery on a broken collarbone? Basically, if the ends are not touching each other, and they're not touching each other by at least two centimeters, and then the chance of it not healing is higher if you're older, you're female, or you're a smoker. So I hope I was able to answer your questions about when do collarbones need surgery. If you have any questions I didn't answer, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to respond, but I can't give you medical advice about your condition. Uh, again, if you like this video, we put out new content weekly, so please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.